So I've just come in from uh, yoga. It was brilliant. There was about 30 people in it. It was amazing energy. To find this site. He's got two chainsaws and he's listening to a YouTube video. Anyone worried? Make sure I don't chop my arms off. Darling, I don't think you should use a chainsaw. I do. I really do. It's going to change the garden. Okay. I feel like a real. I feel like a real man. I feel like. I tell you why I feel like a real man today. Because I'm going to the petrol station in my car. I'm going to get out of the car, and as I get out of the car, I'm going to be carrying this. You've never done any jerry can. I've never carried a jerry can. I've never filled a jerry can. It's just weird. I don't know who you've become. I don't even feel like I've. Yeah, but hang on, the, can I just explain? The only place I ever saw jerry cans were as accessories with my toy soldiers. The American troops always had really cool jerry cans. Yeah, they did. How do you but you're that? having a really boys' day out, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, but you can't go yet because this is ready in two minutes. So I'm going to fill this with 10 litres of unleaded fuel. I'm then going to put a litre of that into here. I'm also going to mix that 1 40th ratio with some two-stroke oil. I'm then going to shake it like that. I'm then going to put some chain oil into the chainsaw and then I'm going to work out Gosh. how to chop my arms off. Oh, Mark, don't even say it. Yes. Mark. It's going to be like a scene from The Walking Dead out there. God, Mark, don't. Why? It's not funny. I'm looking They're forward. Very, very Look, when I was a young student and I used to go and be, I used to be the, uh, I used to I've be heard the. This story. I, oh, no, but our subs haven't. They have, you told them it. Well, You're going to tell them one whether you used to take your shirt off. Yeah. You yeah. have told it a number of times. And, air, and air pilots' wives would look at me yeah. whilst washing yeah. their, washing their uh, uh, crockery and what have you. And I remember looking and falling off a stepladder and nearly chopping my arm off. She ran out to look after me. I didn't have a top on. It was like a scene from a Diet Coke advert. Hardly. I just looked like an absolute moron. I was flailing. Would you, have, would you have wanted to pull me? Mind you, you're about as old as they were. So Mark has gone out to get his petrol. I'm literally pooing myself about him using that chainsaw. He must be deluded. Um... But yeah, so I'm feeling a bit guilty now because he's doing something for the good of the house and the garden. So I'm back to... What do you reckon, guys? I should be doing the cupboards if he's doing the garden, shouldn't I? But I don't want to! It's a lovely day! I don't want to! I don't want to! I don't want to! Guys, don't... As you know, I've been trying to keep the house all tidy. Now, Mark got back on Wednesday. It's now Saturday. What would you have done if that was still there in the middle of the kitchen since Wednesday and it's now Saturday? But I've not said a word because Mark gets really, really, like, insulted if I ever say... He, he, you know, for a wife that has never, ever, hate this word, nagged, um, he doesn't know how lucky he is. I've never nagged about anything. I'm not a nagger. If I mention that case, I bet you anything, you go, oh, all right, all right, I was going to do it. I was going to do it. It's just I need to do washing. The washing machine's broken. It's just... It's only because I need to do washing. Actually, I should film it. Let's see if he gives that exact answer. Words cannot express how masculine I currently feel. If you could smell the inside of this car right now, you would agree with me that it's smelling pretty male. Really male, in fact. I feel really male. And that's partly because of what I've just done, which is, oh, and I can't get it out. Oh, excuse me, sounds awful. Um, 10 litres of 95, whatever it is, octane petrol. Because <laughs> I'm gonna like pour it into motors and I'm gonna pull chains 
and I'm going to use things called chain oil and two-stroke oil and I'm going to use throttles and I'm going to do things like that. I'm going to pull things, I'm going to push things, I'm going to yank things and they're going to make chains engage with other chains and cogs and things like that and I'm going to press buttons and I'm going to make noise and at the end of it I'm going to have that aroma of petrol coming off my knuckles that sort of seeps into the jewellery that certain types of men wear so that when kids you know come home from school and they give you a hug they go dad have you had like a hard day at work and you go yeah son yeah I've been pulling chainsaws I've been dealing with fuel I've been doing manly things, things that make me feel like a man, not this emasculated, anxiety-ridden, manic-depressive, in touch with my feelings. No, I just want to smell fuel. And right now I'm smelling it. That jerry can there, that has made me a man today. Hello? Very slow entry. Who <sighs> oh, looks your pen pass to be bad? Oh god, he's filming. So Smell it. Oh I don't want it, it no. makes me really sick. Smell no. it. No, it's really carcinogenic. Smell it. I don't want to. Mark, take it away. It's carcinogenic. It's unleaded. I smell of man. This makes me smell of man. What does that make you smell of? Your suitcase in the kitchen. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to move it. I know. And, and in fact, in every bathroom, I've just been so tired. I've just taken things off and left them and I'll take them back. My manliness has just been immediately oh, neutered. Neutered. Just neutered. Neutered. It's been growing, babe. God, Is I haven't had a... Oh, look, Dad's plant. We've got a water bag. I've just watered, I've just watered everything. Oh. Hang on, look. Are they tulips? Tulips. Oh my god, they're going to be gorgeous, babe. And look at these little ones. Yeah, I thought that. Oh, it's exciting. Me, Daffodils. Hang on. Whoa, I'm going to bring some. Daffodil willies. Let me bring you this. Oh, our box down there is looking terrible. It's Mother's Day. Your box. What do you want me to put? Ah. Look. Did you plant those for me? Yes. Oh, I love them. Why I love buy daffodils. them when you can when you can plant them? Well, I do like loads of them in the house as well, but I love them in the garden. Oh, oh that's great. Do you like them? I love them. What do you mean it looks ghastly down there? That's, no, the box. That's... It hasn't got anything in it, has it? It has. It's got alliums that are growing, oh. and it's got a rose bush, and it's got a Alliums? That's filler. onions, isn't it? No, it's a kind of garlic-looking thingy, garlic. which is going to be colourful. Look, all of your... It clima... wrong, the Christmas trees, doesn't it? I mean, I'm I getting rid of them. Not getting rid of them. I'm putting we, them on the other side put, yeah, of the garden. It's weird, isn't it? How they just so, don't work because so it's not Christmas. Don't look in that box behind you because that's, okay. that's for Mother's Day. Oh. Oh. oh, am I getting a good Mother's Day? But look, everything's coming to bud. Look, even this. Look, I just love this stuff. Look, look. I know, it's the gorgeous. buds are coming. Things are beautiful. It's lovely. They're beautiful. Can we have a barbecue for Mother's Day? Yeah, but I don't know what to cook. Do you want me to cook stuff? You don't have to cook it. I'm, I'll cook it. I don't know why. I've always wanted to cook something with hickory sauce. What is hickory sauce? It's just like a barbecue sauce, I think. But it sounds so cool. Hickory sauce. It would be have something chipotle, chipotle, chipotle in it. Chipotle. Is it going to be hot tomorrow, folks? Subs, what are you doing for Mother's Day? What are you doing for Mother's Day? I tried to book Balthazar in central London uh, for well, you. I and then, well, a couple of compounding problems there. A, I rang them and they said, we are fully booked, sir. Mm. I said, but she's Nadia Sawala off the telly. No, you didn't. I did. I no, said, but, didn't. I said, but so she's Nadia. I said, she's Nadia Sawala off the telly. And they went, who? I said, Nadia Sawala off the telly. Oh, her. No, you still yeah, can't have a no, table. No, she presents Loose Women. And they went, oh, no, you mean the lady who's married to the man on the YouTube channel? The really manly one who goes and get out and gets petrol in cans. Um... So they said no, and then we had a double double problem, and that Kiki has a friend over. So the very point of you coming to, you know, us all taking you out. Because I was, I went to Father's Day meal there with Izzy and the girls once, and it was lovely. Father's um, Day breakfast. Was Father's there. Day breakfast. Why don't we go out for breakfast? Because Bella's here. That's okay. I know, but we want to go with the kids. It'd be a bit odd another child at someone else's Mother's Day, wouldn't it? No, I think she'll be going home in the morning for Mother's okay, Day. Okay, well, I quite fancy it. Anyway, that's what I was trying to get was about as well. Mm. Um, but then I thought that. Well, anyway. 
I've got a present in the box for Nadia, and the subs know that I've bought something else for you. But they don't know what. But they might be able to tell from last night's vlog from the handle that was over my shoulder. Watch. Have I watched last night's vlog? No, I fell asleep last night. It's great. Time. The thing is, I can park all sorts of messages to our subs about you in our vlogs. So I know that, I know that your attention span is zero. The I did Ideal World yesterday. Did anyone see me? Oh, my God, it was so different from telly. It was so funny. Here's a New Year's really Mother's funny. Resolution. I'm New knackered, Year's... though. Yeah, no, well, it's all right. It's Saturday, you can be knackered. A Mother's Day resol Resolution. I've talked to the girls. I said, if there's one thing you'd like your mum to do differently... What hang on, think? hang on, hang on. It's my Mother's Day. I should be asking... What? No, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, I don't want to hear. Like, <laughs> like, you've got to grant me a wish. Oh, right. I don't grant you lot a wish. Oh, okay. All Can right. you believe that? <laughs> What's the one thing you'd like mum to change? No, I'm going to have a wish from each of you tomorrow. A wish? Yeah. You're going to grant me a wish. Oh. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You can make the wish come true today. What is it? Clear up my clothes. Will you join the gym? Oh, yeah, no, I really want to. I really want to. Can you to. sign up for a yoga class next week? I'm going to sign... Yeah, but That's the thing is, you, you, you're so booked in. I can't... Keep, you keep saying, oh, I, I saw your Insta story today saying trying to get him to come. I couldn't have booked in that quickly. Yes, you could. No, I couldn't. Yes, I can't could. do it like that. I need to be prepared for it. Anyway, going back to being a man, I'm going to go and mix things. I'm going to mix oil. To, guess what? Two-stroke oil. Do you know what that is? Sounds horrible. Two-stroke oil. Sounds rude, doesn't it? Um... Two stroke oil. I've made a discovery. Look at this. Look. I've made a discovery. discovery. What? I like a flat white more than I like a cappuccino. That's what my mum drinks. I know. I'm turning into your mum. Your mum's turning into her mum and I'm turning into your mum. I really don't want you to turn into my mum. Look. I was saying on the show the other day how much I'm like her. Look, look at that. Bio chain oil. Say that again. Bio chain oil. Great, isn't it? I didn't know such a thing existed. Bio. I, I'm not excited. Chain oil. Actually. So while you were out, I was talking to the subs and saying that I felt a bit guilty. What about? Because you're having no interest very, in the garden. You're being no. I have got interest in the garden. That you're being very high focus on doing things, which is a good Saturday thing to yeah, do. Yeah, because look over there. And look. I have always wanted us because what what we've done for years and years and years. The minute it's Saturday, we rush out. We go up to town, watch art. We go see a film. We go to the. Yeah, I'm, I'm what I had to sit on my hands because I wanted to do all those things. And and because of that, our house has been very neglected. All those there's no little jobs are ever done in this house. No jobs are done. No nothing. That door's, door's going to be up. Hanging on. So I was thinking, I felt bad. So I thought I was saying to subs, I should do that cupboard today. Good idea. <laughs> Really good idea. I think you should. <laughs> you are you That's what Maddy used to do. That's... She used to go. And now we understand with her being such a fabulous singer. That's why she's got a good voice. Yeah. So good. She, she, she came out screaming her, vocal cords. her head off. And she used to sing that she'd go totally silent. We'd all just go, wait. And she'd go. Guess what, guys? You know that lovely chap that she sang her musical songs with in the jazz club that we showed you on the vlog before we went to New York? Yeah. He wants her to do a whole set with her. Yeah, a whole show. A whole show. We need 100 people to go. I'm going to be the... What do you mean? Come on, everyone. You're going to come? <laughs> <laughs> We've got, we, we, we could fill Wembley Stadium. We probably could. We could bring, if we, hey, we could. Hey, why don't we book Wembley Stadium? You can all come <laughs> and see Maddie. Look, look, we, do, we don't need bloody promotional companies or joking. record labels. It's like when we do put our play on, which is based on our lives. Mark's got to finish it in the next three weeks. Um, we could invite all the subs. Say that again. We've got the subs. <laughs> Oh my God, you could even invite the subs. No, I'm not joking. Yeah. We've got a lot of people that I know. Are we could fill it. That would come. It's not going to be. We wouldn't make it expensive. We'd make it yeah. affordable. With, without it even necessarily being any good, we could fill the theatre with three, three, three nights. Yeah. But anyway, here's the thing. I'm going to crack on because I've got to do some alchem alchemy. I've got to mix chain oil, two stroke oil, and petrol. And I've got to do it to a ratio of 1 to 40. God, I might just watch Housewives of Beverly Hills, you know. Oh, God, that sounds so nice. Maybe I'll watch it whilst I'm doing the cupboard. I love doing that. Do you do that, guys? Do you, what do you do when you've got a shit job that you don't want to do? Do you play music? Do you put the telly on? So, lots of people say to me they do that with loose women. 
They put it on when they're doing a shit job that they Yeah, make. I don't need to because I've got you around me all the time. <laughs> um, that top is like the sprocket holes on old film. I used to make you really... You bought this for me yeah, years ago. It's, it's a from gorgeous Paul drop. Smith, isn't it? it? Isn't it lovely? Mm, I like that. It's like a... It's, my mum always looked like... I think my mum's after it's it. It's a shame there aren't real holes just there and there. And I could flick them. Mark! <laughs> God, the birds just sound so gorgeous. Smell. Mark. What? What are you doing? Hang on, listen. Oh, God. That stinks and it looks just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the dogs oh. behind you. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know where to put it. Both the dogs <laughs> were just looking at you like. Hang on. It's in place. I've just, good. I've just spilt fuel on my fingers. Oh, Mark. Smell it. Don't, because it makes me feel sick. Go away. I don't want to smell this petrol anymore. Today. Babe, it's like an aphrodisiac. God, you really, I've been to yoga, I've cleansed myself. I've had avocado and now you keep coming in with petrol. But it's making me feel a bit... Mark, please don't, because I feel sick. I'm going to have to leave the room. <laughs> what are you doing oh, now? God, this is so exciting. Oh, Mark, what? I'm just using Are you pouring oil into my yeah. into my measuring jar for oil. food? It's chain oil. Chain oil. What the fuck? But look at the no, colour. No, Mark, you can't do that. It's so toxic. Look at the colour. You're going to have to scrub that and scrub that and scrub What the hell are you playing with? I thought even... Look. Blue. Oh, God. Blue no, oil. I've never seen now. this thing. Just stop this. Let's get somebody in. No. Oh, God. Oh, he's being so annoying. It's a lovely day. I want all the doors open. All I can smell is gas and petrol and oil. <sighs> I think I might have to bake a cake. I think I might have to bake a cake to make myself happy again. So I got all ready to do my cupboard and then ended up going on Instagram instead. So I'm now going to blast some music and just get the whole house done and hopefully maybe get myself in the mood to do the cupboard. Oh, my God, Mark. What are those? That's what you have to wear to. Ma! <laughs> oh my god! To put it to get in! You're supposed to. <laughs> the girls are going to kill you if you. They like that. No, That's kidding. not safe in the garden. Well, I mean, it's... what if it flies up and cuts your. Buttocks off. Well, no, I know, but I think what I, what I realised was I think you're supposed to have jeans on underneath. <laughs> so I'm going to go and put Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Trousers on now. If not, you're bending your arms <laughs> over to everyone. Yeah, don't worry, too. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Where have you got all this stuff from? Oh, God. Apparently. Yeah. So you are actually going to use this chainsaw then? Yeah. I'm going to try and chop my leg off. What are those boots for? Oh my god, that's hilarious. They're what are they for? They're so heavy. Are they metal? <laughs> oh, I could like not fall over. Go on then. Oh my god, look. They're made of metal. Oh god. It doesn't make you want to do anything. What about your arms? Uh, gloves. Make your entrance. Yeah. God, I'm terrified what I'm going to see next. Oh, the size of it. <laughs> you've still got bare arms. Yeah, of course, because you don't want to be completely... You've got to operate the thing. No, tape. no, no, Mark, no. Not but honestly. The arm is the thing that's in danger. They haven't danger. sent anything for the arm, so they assume that your arms are out. It's your legs that you need to worry about, and your feet. Oh, idiot. <laughs> You've always fancied a bit oh. of a serviceman, haven't you? God. Can you service The him? glasses make you look like... I haven't felt more manly in years. <laughs> oh, my God. I dare to shout out to you. I dare to jump. Mark, that didn't look safe. Your arms didn't look safe. Your arms didn't look... So that fell down in your arm. Darling, darling, you're the only thing that makes me nervous. <laughs> I'd rather contend with a chainsaw than you. 
looks so funny. I'd rather contend with the James. <laughs> oh my God. This is brilliant. Oh no, I can see you're gonna cut everything down. No, darling, this bed. Don't get trigger happy, babe. This bed is being cleared. I like this bed. No, the subs have all agreed that unless we do it, you will never have anything. I'm gonna hate need. it when this is gone. Hate darling, it. I'm not gonna get rid I'm of just I'm, I'm you. Trimming stuff back. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna Careful get Careful with that, you could suddenly turn it on. Oh my god, darling. It's off. All the safety issues are on. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my hey. god. Hang on. Just come over here. I don't want to while you're holding that thing. I feel... S are you recording? Yeah. I feel safer with this in my hand than when I enter a row with you. Well, good. I stand my chances That's more good. with this. That's good. Keep it that way. Toffee. Toffee. Toffee likes the smell of fuel on me. She's just Don't wandering you around. She's worried. She's been following you oh, everywhere. It's so really. sweet. It's all right. Oh. Where's Chi Chi? She's done a runner. Chi Chi. There she is. Chi Chi, come and say hello to the sub. Chi Chi. Chichi, here you go. Look, darling. What's he doing, eh? What's he doing? Hey, Toffee's, Toffee's okay. nervous. Hey? Toffee's nervous. Hey? <laughs> Toffs. Toffs, do you agree with me? He needs to stop, Toffee. Can you just say what you said again to Dad? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm a man. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to be trying a responsible to do? man. You're trying to do that's such a good question. I'm trying what to clear the garden. I'm just cutting shit down so that we can plant nice stuff here. So in a minute, this is all going to be gone. Literally gone. Kiki asks the questions I've been thinking all day. Kiki tends to go straight to the point. Look, this is my impersonation of Dumbo. <laughs> I, I've mixed fuel, Kiki. You're, smell my hands. Come and smell my hands. Tell me if I smell like a dad. No, it smells like normal hands. Oh. <laughs> All right. Tell me if I smell like a dad. Do I not dad. smell like a dad? No. Stinky and sweaty? Yeah. Oh, I do smell that? Yeah. But that's not dad-like? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. There he is. He's still out there. Oh, my God. I'm so worried about what I'm going to be left with. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm doing. There's logic to my madness. So, I'm trying to get rid of this privet hedge and I'm trying to get rid of dead apple trees in the middle bed. They're not yielding anything. Now, that doesn't mean I'm getting rid of all the apple trees. I'm keeping two, but I'm going to try and prune them right back and bonsai them so that they're a bit like this one here. I'll cut to a shot of it, but you know, so that they're smaller, they might yield some apples and we don't lose that lovely heritage thing to the garden, which is that it used to be an apple sort of orchard slash copse. Um, I've literally run at this like a nutter because the trees are trees that are bad. Um, I'm trying to sort of with the conifers, cut them back, but sort of shape them a bit. This is all brambles, look, this is all brambles. Now the plan is, to completely clear, let's step over here, completely clear that bed. Look, you can see down that end, I've cleared down there. And so the idea being that yes, it won't be so foliagey, and I'm willing to take one for the team from Nadia for that. Keep the best part of that sort of thing there that I want to shape it and start to plant new bushes, flowers, rose bushes, cherry blossoms, all that kind of stuff in a newly, I want to, I want to change the earth. I mean, this is just the top surface job and get going. Well, I've even started on Nanny Dye's part of the garden. So let me show you that. I'm walking really slowly because these boots that are made of metal, they might be made for chainsawing, but these shoes aren't made for walking. These boots aren't made for walking. They're really painful. That's, that's my new best friend. Much rather get into a fight with a chainsaw than Nads. So that tells you a lot. Tells you a lot. So if we come over here, now, I don't quite know how I've managed to do all this, but I have. So, look, cut all that down, yeah? So again, some of these trees, lovely magnolia tree over there, so it'd be really nice. I mean, obviously that has like, my mum says that has like a week or two where it's in flower. So we have a magnolia tree, but it's kind of lost behind there. So I'll be attacking that 
bed soon with my with my saw and I'm making a start to Nanny dies because just down to there, I don't know if you can see, you can see there's the edge of a so I need to get rid of all of that. Now the chainsaw's kind of good for that, but it does sort of ping off a bit. And although I've got these glasses on, I don't fancy thorns in my ear and stuff like that. All this debris, skip is coming, skip is coming. But this is like a sort of uh, inventory of things before green fingered hell gets going. So now, as you know, I started burning this stuff. Then I felt bad because some of you guys said it was uh, bad for the atmosphere, but I've still got all that to get rid of. Um, skip, skip springs to mind, but also taking a chainsaw to this part, obviously not with the trees there, but with some of these bushes and everything so that I can clear some space and turn this, start to turn this with a skip and a chainsaw. I think those are the two key things that I need to be able to start turning this into the kitchen garden I hoped it could be. Now, I'm gonna to have to face facts. It's probably not gonna be ready for this year, but I might, what I'm, what I'm hoping to do is clear one area so that there's just one raised bed so I can grow something. But if you look, it's that thing of culling and cutting back it brings a bit more light in. And look, we've got these beautiful, beautiful flowers over here. I mean, I think my mum says this is a still a park bush. But look, isn't that pretty? So pretty. Look at that little, what's that blossom there? That's pretty as well, isn't it? What is that? Here's the thing. So I've started. I now need to chop all this wood up into smaller lumps of wood and and then what do I do with it? If I'm not supposed to burn it, what should I do with it? Get a wood chipper, turn it into sawdust? I suppose I could. Um, but yeah, it's just looking around. You can already see more corners of the garden. I don't think Nadia's going to be very happy with me though. See, Nadia doesn't understand that you need to take away sometimes in order to bring back. And one of those elements is, even like in our relationship, when we spend time apart, she realises how invaluable and how irritating I am until I'm back for five minutes and then I'm back where I started. But you know, you have to take things away for them to come back. I really understand the, the concept of culling and there's a mindfulness in knowing that you're doing something now and then in you know a year, 18 months or so, you'll start to yield the new buds. I mean, even that little apple tree over there, the new buds coming through, it looks stinkier somehow, but it was sort of leggy and horrible a couple of years ago. So, it, you know, I'm gibbering, I'm gibbering. Anyway, I'm really hot, I'm really sweaty. I need, now need to go and get one of those Diet Cokes. But let me introduce you to my new friend. It's my best friend. He does what I want him to do. He blows hot and cold. He can move things out of the way quickly. He's a problem solver, not a problem creator. He, he can sort of cut out, he can sort of cut his temper, drop of a hat, switch of a button, psh, blows hot and cold, but always reliable. I filled a jerry can, I mixed some fuel, I filled a chainsaw, I worked the chainsaw, I've removed a third of the garden, and I never had a dad. Yeah. Shush. Such a big bloody job. Mom. What? Mom. Effing out. What? Yeah, I know. What do you mean you know? <laughs> you fell asleep on the sofa last One, night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen chocolates. Fourteen chocolates that aren't yours. I bought these for mum. Oh, sorry. I thought they were a gift to us. No. Sorry. Who eats fourteen chocolates anyway? All right. Well, you must I just... have done that the minute I fell asleep. No, I didn't. On the sofa I wasn't planning night. it. I just desperately wanted something sweet. Couldn't find anything. Saw the box. Couldn't it. find Thought anything. Thought rather than having one <laughs> cherry then... one, I'd have all of them. And I'm spying there might be another cherry actually. Oh well, look, it's a cherry milk colour. This top. Yeah. And now Sorry. I can smell them. Now I want. Yeah, them. So yeah. Somewhere. They were a bit. They were disappointing I'm actually. Put them down the sink. Oh God. Sometimes. I wish you could just eat a chocolate without it being a major catastrophe. Right, I'm going to take my hat off. Let's see what my... Oh, look, look at that. Isn't that lovely? I remember, that used to be what my hair looked like when I used to take my cricket visor off. Oh, God. Right. That's shallots. Yay! <laughs> Garlics. I'm going to break these up and I'm going to go and plant them. But the problem is, actually, I realised before... I... 
Before I plant them, I need to get some mesh so the bloody crows don't pull them all up. You know what this is? What? Can you guess? Right. What have I been saying we need to find that thing I got done for us? We've been avoiding it. Oh, what know. was it? What do you the think? The dancing. Huh? The dancing lesson. No, I need to get a knife. Hang on, wait there. What dancing lesson? Our tango lesson. Oh my God, paid for that. I know you did, yeah. It's a present. God, we mustn't forget to do that. I know. Okay. Kiki can see this as well, because it is for all of us. Can you guess what it is, Mark? This was delivered months ago, months and months ago, and Mark and I kept hiding it from our own selves, literally months ago. I had this made especially for the family. What does it say? Unplug. Disconnect to reconnect, Sawala Adelies. A place for us to put our phones at certain times of the day so we have phone okay, hang on. free That's time. ironic, they've got hashtag, hashtag disconnect to reconnect. That's an Instagram hashtag. They're encouraging you to social media the thing that they're asking you to do. <laughs> <laughs> as if Maddie's going to do that and as if you two are going to do that. What about you? I'm not that addicted. Darling, you're more addicted than you think. Everyone is addicted to their phones. Everyone. Yeah, Mum, the person that is most addicted to their phones are you and Dad in this house, and you cannot lie about it. But that. listen, the point is, is me and Daddy well. admit we've got an addiction, and we want to do something about it, and we want to help you and Maddie too. Yeah, so well, this, I like my phone, and maybe I'll I love that you can plug the phone in. Oh my god. There's a hole to put your plugs in, so you can still be charging them. Do you like it? I do like it. No, yeah. I'm not going to like it. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> my phone's in there. Because my phone's in there. Why? Right. I can see you're just doing this once and then... <laughs> <laughs> just once? Yeah, not even for that long. You'll be like, oh wait, hang on, I just need to... Scream. Yeah, there'll always Better. be a mitigating circumstance. They can't be. No, but darling, you no. are the mistress of the mitigating uh, listen, circumstances. Listen, listen, listen. Can we please all stop saying that? We can't do this. We're all going to go, but you, but you. I can bring up a thousand instances yeah, and you where do. the same has happened. But have I said that once? I'm just saying we all admit that we've got a problem and we all need to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, but everyone has a problem with their phone. Yeah, but that, it's like saying everybody's got a problem with alcohol or cocaine or... Speed. No, no, it's and very different. Problem. No, it's not. They say it's just as damaging phone addiction as anything else. No, it's not. It's going to kill you. It can kill your social life, it can kill your 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 soul. Hmm? Kill your social life? Oh look at this cupboard. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get the screws in a minute to put that door on. Oh look Mark! <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ear muffles. I thought that was a Me and Mum need them, not you. Mm, yeah. Yeah we do. <laughs> That's a good one. I need them when you're just talking. You were shouting so much. So I don't know if any of you saw on our, our Instagram feed today, me uh, having my allergy testing for doing? my um, brow tattooing. Uh, I mean, brow, brow tattooing. Brow tattooing? Yeah. Is that, is that what it means? Yeah. Why are you having your eyebrows tattooed? Just here. I'm not having those big whole oh, ones. Oh, babe, it's the thin end of the wedge. I'm just having here. No. It's, it's literally the thin end of the wedge. The people who have tattoos... The majority of people do these days before you say well, everything. Well, no, no, yeah, but why, why when they look tattooed? They no, it won't look tattooed because I'm not having the whole there's eyebrow. Lot, I'm just literally having here... Okay. Where I always have to put an. Is it because is it because people aren't too concerned about their loved ones looking at them close up? Because believe me, if I look at you close up, and you I won't see, see it. Tattoo, you won't notice it. I, Loads I of girls at work have got it done, and you wouldn't notice it. You don't know. If you have it done well, you don't know. Why do you need it? Because I've got gaps in my eyebrows, and it joking. frames your face. Oh my god! This is first world madness. Well, you can't talk with your Dennis Healy bloody eyebrows. Oh, I know. Just trim them. Pair of scissors. Trim them. Or hedge. Yeah, trim us. But seriously, the last person I knew who had tattooed eyebrows was Barbara Cartland. Yeah, but things have moved you on. Know, you're going to be one of those old women that when your hair goes out, you're going to start filling it more and more. You know it. It's thin end of the wedge. 
It's like Botox, and then you'll end up like looking like a drum with stupid two lines on it. I won't have my neck lift. Oh, God. Well, I can't wait for a neck lift. I saw Jane Fonda on the, on the Broadway stage, and she was 75, and she was a brilliant actress, and she was playing the part, and clearly it was written into her contract that she had to get her tits out in the middle of the play. And what happened was she'd had a boob job and she had the breasts of a 25-year-old on the frame of a 75-year-old. Now, I'm sure she felt in full, full possession of brilliant breasts. To the rest of us, it looked fucking odd. And I think the same thing's going to happen with your eyebrows eventually. Oh, I such think a shame, isn't it? I'm having my eyebrows done. He doesn't want me to. <laughs> why, 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 why? Here, come here. Can you see any difference? No. Nope. You can't see difference. Well, that's all collapsed. I can't. It's just shorter. Oh, wait, what? What have you done? Well, that you've... What yeah. have you cut? Everything. He's ruined it. I haven't ruined it. Wait, you've cut... So Why have you cut that down? It's all that awful area over there. No, what we're going to do, darling, that will happen for a short time, which is why I've been banging on about the fence. Calm so down. All I need to Calm say down. is, unless that happens, you will forever have shit. But hang on, look, look at the beauty. Look, I'm getting rid of the brambles around this really nicely light. Have you noticed the one colour, which is actually quite beautiful there? I've always noticed that colour. I love yeah, that colour. Yeah, but you, you can't notice it when the brambles are out. I do. I, I like it. I like the brambles. What can I do? I can't change. Just because you want me to not like the brambles, but I you can't. Like, I like the brambles. Yeah, only because you, it delivers you green now. Yeah, I but love eventually the you will have a no, different kind of green. It makes me feel like green. in the countryside with brambles. I am no, not going to be happy when all that is clear. I'm going to be devastated because all I'm going to see is that awful lawn. It's not... I mean, I've always been honest about this. Then we're going to have this. a green lawn and then you're going to have a bed with flowers in it and bushes and nice curated, decided upon things rather than just shit that you've got. What? What are you doing that for? It's looking fecund and lovely. What is wrong it's with you? It's going to just look more and more like Steptoe's yard. What do you I'm mean? I'm going to be able to see all that rubbish through there. It's not going to look nice. It's not going to look nice. Well, Sweetheart, it has to change to get better. You are not a man that will keep a lawn. It is, and we are never going to have a proper lawn. Now better. I can see next door's fence. You're I can see everything. See, you're not going to see. You're going to have more sunlight on your patio. You can literally look. You've had the sun for longer. Sunlight. What? You love. Oh, you are the most difficult individual. <laughs> I tell you what. You might. You might be horrified, but there's a lot more light in this room. I don't like light. No, but look, there's a lot more light. You can actually see the end of the garden and I'm going to be strimming the lawn, so it will be long. Come see. Come see what I've enjoyed doing. You all right, Coops? Off to another party. So, have you had the time of your life, Mark? This is the question. Uh. Oh my God. It looks like a hurricane's hit it. Oh my God, Mark. All I can see is barren wasteland. Barren wasteland. Come through here. We've got nothing nice to look at now. No, no, but we're going to get nice things. Come here, and that might be part of what Mother's Day is about. Like Hank, yeah, come here, come with me. Follow me. Oh, look at this. Look at where I'm walking. I'm having to walk past a chainsaw. It's on safety mode. It can't go. I'm not walking past a chainsaw. No, come here. Come around this way. Look, babe, that's the uh, that's the chainsaw sheath. Say sheath. No, you're Say a pervert. Keep walking. Ow. Jesus Christ! It just looks horrendous. I wish there was a show that did celebrity gardens. I'm doing it. Look, this, these are the things I'm discovering. Come with me. Gonna be chopped up and burned or thrown in. I don't know what you want me to say. But can you see the bed? Yeah, I can see a bare, horrible bed. Yeah, which is gonna like be full there's of been a hurricane. Green, beautiful new plants 
beautiful black what soil. What are we going to do about that lawn? The lawn is going to be strimmed once no, I've removed lawn, everything. No, that lawn, we need, we, you just won't let us spend the money on a new lawn. Yes, we can spend, we I want a new lawn. lawn. Up, you know, we need it. I listen. remember this from when I was a child. My dad would bring a roller, then people would bring prick of things, and then things would be done. We can do this that. This is never going to be a flat Let's lawn. buy lots of flat lawn that they sell, and let's just dig it up. I'll do, but are you going to dig it up with me? Look at Toffee over there. Look at Toffee. Where? Are you going to dig it with me? Delling, I can't look right. I'm, I, today, Let's I've actually today <laughs> I've actually done the job of three men. Right. Why don't we just get three men? Be that's so frustrating. Oh, God. No, well done. You've done really well. I put my chaps on. You've done really well. They're called I think you're chaps. Disgusted about you showing your bum, by the way. Oh no. Shit, that's a disgrace. Um. But look what I've done to my arm. I don't think she's going to let you. Well, that's clever, isn't it? That's how people get sepsis. You've got something to say about everything. You've literally I told got... you to cover. You never go oh in the God. garden. Look, guys. Oh my you God. Aren't you never supposed to go in the oh, garden with bare skin? Can I just say that something happened over oh, the here? The dog's having a poo over there. She's having she's having a poo because she feels the garden's fresh. There she is. Nice one. Oh, look, she gets a little. She's like you after a poo. She sort of has a bit flushed, a bit flushed, and runs around with the tail in the air. That tree landed on my head whilst I was holding a chainsaw. Don't tell me these things. Listen, Stacy's coming over at Easter with her boys and their young boys. Will they be able to play in this garden? It, this garden's going to be absolutely transformed. Wow. Yeah. Well, Thank I mean, Stacy, just for you. What did you? Why are you putting such pressure on me when I've already just done such remarkable things? Because I think you work things? well when you've got a date. I never go on a date anymore. No, you've done really well, babe. Well done. You're very sticky, smelly and sweaty. But yeah, well. but women like men in hard hats. And Why do you keep saying I'm that? I'm sure they do. Who are all these women that like men in hard hats? Maybe it's gay men. Maybe, I think you've got yourself very confused. I am confused. You're thinking I'm... of the song YMCA. Oh, and that's gay, isn't it? YMCA. That's what they're thinking of. Oh, right. Leave your comments below if you like a man in a hard hat. <laughs> you're, you're wanting just a flat... Bowling green lawn, aren't you? Bowling green lawn, but darling, it's just lumpy, it's horrible. It's always been on. like that. It's not comfortable. I would like an artificial lawn. Artificial? Yeah. After everything I'm, I'm doing? I, the really good one. You are never going to be a looking after a lawn man. I am. As if there's a no, nice no. lawn to strim or mow, it's easy to do. I'm a But big... that's never going to be a nice lawn to mow. I tell you what, it is. And you know why? why? Because those stu that stupid flower bed will not be overhanging um, brambles all over it. They're then growing underneath it, creating patches of weeds. I'm telling you, this is the first stage of being able to have a lawn that has an edge that we can then fill the holes with seeds. Can you repair, subs, a lawn that has patchy bits with seeds? Can you do that? Because as soon as I've cleared that wood and all that debris off of there, I'm strimming the out of that. Mark! What? I didn't swear! I didn't swear! Why am I wearing my hat like that? Tell you who's going to be amazed. Because you obviously think it's sexy. You've been horribly misled. You're talking about YMCA. You're talking about a very specific kind of, of fetish. You just look like Bob the Builder to me. <laughs> <laughs> and he came to our wedding. <laughs> Builder. Yes, we can. Bob the Builder. Can you fix it? Bob the Builder. Yes, you can. Tell you what, babe, we're on our own tonight. Nads. What about a nice chicken baguette? Mark, I've got a real problem with this carpet. Nads, what's, what's happened to my... I've got a real problem what's happened to my forehead? Oh, my God, what have you done with that hat? Well, no, seriously, is it a cut? Yeah. Ah. What... Nads, Nads, what's happened to my forehead? Oh, you look ridiculous. No, come and look closely. What have you done? What have I done? Is it a blood blister? Oh my God, that's going to be there a while. What? That hat doesn't fit you. It's because I tried to swipe it to the side like my cap. I've torn... Well, you're an idiot. I'm hungry.
Babe, 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 babe. We're on our own tonight. Yeah. What do you fancy doing? Watching beans. Do you want me to wear my chaps with nothing else babe. on? Sorry, darling, but this just isn't working out how you imagined. So sorry. How shall I make chicken and cashew nut tonight? How? Shall I make chicken and cashew nut? Oh, yeah, that sounds lovely. That's nice, doesn't it? Oh, subs. That might have been when the tree landed on my head. I'm proud of myself because I woke up this morning and decided I was going to fill a jerry can with petrol. I was going to mix it. I was going to learn how to use a chainsaw from scratch. I've done it. I've chopped down literally trees that have landed on me. Very dangerous and stupid. And I feel like I've really worked hard. That's the kind of workaholism I like, where you feel like you've earned a break. I've damaged my forehead. On a more meaningful note, I had, can I just say now, I've got room and myself quite excited about Green Fingered Hell coming back. Ooh. And I do find that doing anything in the garden and outside, because I'm a physical person, really helps my mentals. Well, yeah, so Nadia, always, very, I've very... Always, I've always said that, I always said, the garden did you more obvious good than the antidepressants. Sure. Why don't we try and write a book? Why don't we call our vlog the depressed gardener. Why don't we, why don't we, why don't we call Did it? Monty Don do that? Did he? Thinks so. Did he? I think Monty Don has already the done manic it. The manic-depressed gardener? Yeah, it's ha been done. Has it? Monty Don did it. Yeah, but he's not as charming as me. He's Oh no, he's so charming. I want to put my hand in his pocket. And just see what's in there, like loose change, you know. I've got. I tell you the. I tell you the problem for you though, Nads. Working in the garden with my hands, with the smell of just stamens and, and sap, makes me feel frisky. Do you get me? 